Trypophobia is a psychological condition, a phobia of holes that is not really recognized by the psychological community at large, but many people, such as myself, have a strong aversion to looking at clustered holes next to each other. It's weird. It is. Nice. You're weird. Well, well, it's not being classified by the psychological community at all, but I think there's a lot of people, such as myself, who have that strong aversion. I've seen to your pictures. aversion. It's strong. Yeah, I freaked out. Um, In fact, hey Zeus, give her a picture now. No. You looked. I can't believe you looked. Because I. He doesn't have one. See, ready the to go. problem with <laughs> the problem with it is like, I'm looking at this picture of maybe a lotus flower, and it's horrifying. It's disgusting, but I can't stop looking at it. And it makes, my, it makes my skin crawl. I remember when I was a kid, I was looking at a picture of some sea cucumber in my textbook. And I was just like horrified looking at it. And I, I went to my neighbors like, isn't that disgusting? And they were like, no, what the hell are you talking about? Did and it awaken something inside of you? It made me really upset. Like, I almost just want to run out of the room screaming, but I, I can't stop thinking about it. And the problem with having this condition is when you look it up on Google, all the trigger pictures are there that make you so upset and just, I want to be buried alive. It's awful. Well, there are, there are uh, web support groups and uh, Facebook groups, and uh, I think the best thing about them, there's some of them 6,000 members large. They only have this one thing in common, but the only rule of this support group is that you can't post any of the pictures. I've been to a page like that, and it was full of those pictures. Well, I think it's so funny someone because... someone is trolling. <laughs> I think it's funny because this group only has one thing in common, and that thing can never be brought up. Yeah. That's it. I don't know why they would ever it's meet like or get together to talk... It's like Voldemort people who can't say Voldemort and have yeah. to say he who must not be named. Well, these are the pictures that must not be seen. Uh, Dr. Jeff Cole and Professor Arnold Wilkins are psychological academics who focus on vision. And they did a study on this in this uh, month's copy of Psychological Science, examining trypophobia, why it exists, and why it makes people so discomforted. For a while, I thought I have a fear of rotting, and that's why I hate looking at those holes clustered together, because it looks like decay and rot, and it's upsetting. I mean, death is something common to be upset about. But according to their findings, um, well, they, they focus on vision. And the images uh, that, you know, they all have the clustered holes show comparatively high contrast energy at mid-range spatial frequencies, they wrote. Which means this may be related to evolutionary traits. These findings suggest that there may have been uh, some kind of evolutionary part of br the brain telling people that they're looking at, say, a poisonous animal. Yeah, they do draw some conclusions that many of the things that show that clustered hole pattern are poisonous or bad for you or will hurt you. I think that's kind of a thin argument mm -hmm. because although a lot of things that have that pattern are poisonous, there's way more poisonous, dangerous things in nature that don't have that pattern. That is true too. And there are a lot of perfectly innocuous things that have the clustered hole pattern. I mean, Ugh. there's no reason They're that I should awful. ever avoid barnacles other than stepping barnacles on them. Barnacles are the worst. What if you ate one? I wouldn't eat one. What if you did? Because you didn't realize that they were dangerous by looking at them. Well, if I were to eat a barnacle, I shouldn't. I wouldn't eat all of the barnacles, <laughs> which means the whole clustered whole thing is kind of out the window. Oh, it's awful. I don't know if I really believe that, but they did suggest that the, re the way to get over trypophobia is to submerge yourself in horrible, horrible pictures that uh, that upset you now. Because according to one of the doctors, he had been doing. He had had been upset by these images, he spent a long time studying them, and now he's not upset. Yeah, it's called exposure therapy, and it always makes for the best episodes of Jerry Springer. Yeah, I think, what, like when they bring out those plates, like, Monica is scared of pickles, and they bring out a plate of pickles. <laughs> Mean. That's just bullying. It, they're trying to help Monica. No, they just want right? to make a spectacle of her fear of pickles. They might. By the way, do not send me <laughs> pictures like that on Twitter. I will block you without any response. This is serious shit. Feel free to send me as many pictures of plates of pickles as you like. No, not pickles. Trypophobic pi Ugh. Fine, do whatever. I don't care about your Twitter. Bring it on, internet. Plates of pickles. <laughs> <laughs>